Well, I want to call him friend of the show, but he's got his own show, and it's been the lockdown show. What was the latest one we saw, Joseph Parker? The latest one we saw was me helping my kids with their maths, you know, and uh, it's from a famous movie, but I was just helping them with their maths, and it's just, uh, I think it applies to this time because lockdown in New Zealand is hard for, you know, parents and kids being stuck at home, so you have to make it fun. And I feel like we made it fun that day. Because <laughs> it's been a while since you've done one of those uh, music videos, isn't it? It's been a while. It's been a while. I think we just, we just did one because it's, uh, it's a positive one. And uh, to show people that you can, you know, parents can still be at home to teach their kids. But um, at the same time, I'm be training and, and focusing a lot on what's next. So, I mean, we haven't been doing a lot, but we just did one. Just as a, as a reminder that, you know, it's... You know, Still having fun? Um, you look really well. It's early in the morning there over in uh, New Zealand. I can see the sun coming through into your gym. Um, the fight's been announced. It's the rematch with Derek Chisora. Uh, I take it it's December the 18th, isn't it? December the 18th, rematch with Chisora. It's, gonna be, it's my first rematch with, with someone. So it's, uh, it's one that I'm looking forward to because the other fight wasn't the most dominant performance. The other fight wasn't the most clear win. Um, I, I know I got the win, but it wasn't the most clear win. And a lot of people argue that because he put on the pressure, because he got the knockdown, he may have edged it. Uh, I believe I edged it. So this I is the chance for me. Yeah. This is the chance for me to cement it. And I, I, there's no secret that I need a, a way better performance. Otherwise, what's the point of me boxing and, and being involved if I can't really, you know, perform and then, you know, look at bigger fights? I mean, the thing is, like, you know, he's become a cult figure over time in a similar way to Dillian White has. And you played a part in that as well. And, you know, you're, is this your sixth fight in the UK, I make it? Yeah, it is my, yeah, yeah. I've actually had, you know, a lot of my recent fights in the UK. Yeah. So, and it's one of those places where <clears throat> we, we fought there. And, you know, we made friends, we, you know, we met, we met a lot of people. Then each time we come back, we just get more and more support. And I feel like it's one of those places where we are very welcome, you know, and, and we actually quite comfortable there. Well, you've been in good fights as well. Let's be honest, I've been very big ones. Um, the 12 the round fight with Anthony Joshua, which is a very big event at the time. Um, and since then, you've been pursuing your world title back. Um, you know, you've had one fight in New Zealand, which... You, you just, you know, you, you, you had to win that one, stay on track, really. Um, putting people in their place back in the homeland, um, letting everybody <laughs> know you're, you're the number one over there. Um, I, I assume you're going to be working with Andy Lee over here. Where will you go and how, when will camp start? Camp will start, uh, you know, the 9th, the 10th of October. Uh, we're, looking at, we're looking at Ireland and the UK, but I think Morecambe is the place where or sort of settled, you know, because of visa issues. And I feel, you know, a 10-week camp is a really good sort of length of camp to learn and to progress. And, you know, there's no reason to smash the body in the beginning. You just pro progressively get better, keep learning, and keep working on things each day. You're, you're almost, you, you mentioned more coming. You know what comes into my mind is the Samoan Gypsy King. Um, <laughs> but, but, because you'll, you'll be bumping into a fury or two while you're up there, won't you? Yeah, I'll be. You know, he'll probably be there. You know, his fights uh, in a few October weeks' 9th. time. October 9th. Yeah, October 9th. Yeah. So I, I, the plan is that hopefully I can make it over to that fight so just to be a part of the atmosphere and, and you know watch other heavyweights go at it, and then from there head over to Morecambe. And you know Tyson might be there. He's busy. He's got a newborn baby. He's got you know his family to take care of. But he might be in the gym here and there to you know to help and to support and see what we're doing. I mean, you're all in that merry-go-round. Um, you know, a victory for you over Derek Chisora sets up a great 2022 for you. Um, just as we were about to speak today, I think maybe night, overnight or today, Otto Wallin, the opponent for Dillian White. What do you make of that? I mean, am I, am I, being, am I being unfair by saying I'm disappointed that that's the opponent for the interim WBC title? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what, how they came about that fight, really. Um, I, I think there were other names being thrown out there. And, you know, I, I think well, after the Chisora fight, we did 
um, ask if he was available to, you know, to have a rematch. But uh, they said he was busy, so I think the only option for us was Chisora at, you know, at the time we asked. Yeah, because the thing is, if you look at the chess game in the heavyweight division, if you're interested in a title, I mean, White's been saying about a title for so long. Alexander Usyk's getting his opportunity, and he's waited a little while for his title against Anthony Joshua. Did you ever box Alexander Usyk? Never boxed him, but you know he, no. he achieved a lot. Yeah, yeah. You never, you never met him in the amateurs, no. Never met him in the amateurs, no. No. Do you think he's as tricky an opponent for Joshua as some of us are maybe thinking? I feel like he's going to be a tricky fighter, you know, with the southpaw stance, the movement, you know, up and down. Um, we've seen in a lot of his fights the way that he moves, the way that he, you know. But I, I think just naturally, Joshua being a heavyweight um, will make a big difference, you know. Alexander Usyk isn't a natural heavyweight, but it's good on him for coming up to the heavyweight and, you know, giving it a go. Do you, given that you seem to be fighting Brits all the time, are you going to call out Joe Joyce at any point soon? Listen, I would have loved to fight Joe Joyce. I, I think the, you know, he called me out, and I, I guess after the Sora fight, if you know, if I get a good win and look good, that'll be a, the fight that we can have next. You know, I'll fight anyone mm. in the UK or anyone in the world. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's, it feels like that. Yeah. Now it's a weird situation for you coming out of like one person has tested positive for COVID in New Zealand, and the whole country's shut, isn't it? Am I am I right in saying that, or am I making that right. up? One person tested positive and then it just became one of those domino effects where just that person was there. And now, you know, the whole country's been on lockdown for four weeks, five, you know, for nearly five weeks. So it's uh, one of those things that's taken very seriously here. As soon as something happens, lockdown and everyone has to stay home. Does it bother you? Does it, does it, does it affect your kind of daily routine at all or what you're up to or not? I was, listen, I was traveling with my family, very blessed that we were able to travel. Uh, we came back to New Zealand at two weeks in MIQ. The day we got out was the day New Zealand went into lockdown. So we've been locked down ever since. Um, quality family time, training every day, not as busy as usual, you know, usually am, the meetings and doing this, doing that. So I'm, I'm making the most of being here and being with my family. So my understanding is then, if you come and fight, you do a camp, say a 10-week camp, you're coming out here soon, aren't you? You're going to go to... Vegas on the way, then you'll be in the UK maybe on the 11th of 12th of October. Um, and you'll be in camp maybe in Ireland, as you say, or, or in Morecambe with Andy Lee and probably John Fury. He'll be popping along, won't he? He'll put, well, come on, come here, son. Come here, girl. <laughs> I'll show you how it's done. You get on with John, <laughs> I take it, yeah? John's a good man. He is. I get along well with John. Does he ever take you on the pads? He hasn't taken me on the pads, but you know, listen, he, he speaks, he's a very wise man. Yeah. He speaks a lot of uh, wisdom. Can you do something for me, right? When you're on the pads with him next time, just slip one and hit him right in the body and, and right, right in under the rib cage and see what happens. Would you do that? Listen, he'll pro oh, I, listen I, I probably will try, but he'll probably straight away, I don't know, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he'll probably try and knock me out. <laughs> um, so when you, when you have the fight then on the 18th of December... My understanding is if you go home, you've got to be in a hotel for two weeks, so you'd miss Christmas with your family. Yeah, that is the understanding at the moment. Well, my understanding is that if I do come back to New Zealand, it'll be two weeks in a hotel. Things may change. They might you know, welcome the you know, isolation at home, self-isolation, or things, you know, just not, not sure yet at the moment what uh, New Zealand are, are planning. Because Joseph Parker does not spend Christmas without those beautiful little kids, does he? It'll be, it'll be hard. It'll be, obviously, it'll be hard to be away for 10 weeks from them. And then to, if I have to spend Christmas by myself, or, you know, it'll be, it'll be different. So, you know, what's the other option is to fly them up to the UK and, and spend Christmas there, New Year's there, continue fighting, you know, continue keeping busy. Uh, because the, there's nothing here in New Zealand in terms of boxing. The, the scene is right there. Have they not said, Daddy, we want you to fly us to Lapland to see Father Christmas and the reindeer? <laughs> they've said many things <laughs> um, I've got They're to ask kids. you right, heavyweight question and this is a heavyweight question it was kind of atrocious in my eyes last week but Evander Holyfield boxing at 58 and almost not capable of defending himself uh, listen I, I, before we even got on this uh, call I was thinking about it Like, I was just thinking about the world and boxing and what's been happening and I uh, 
you know, the person that he, the fighter that he used to be, you know, obviously at the age, you, you, you're never going to be the same. You never, and it's a risk, a risk to his health. And I, you know, I know these, these promoters are putting on these events and people are tuning in to watch, but I just felt like he shouldn't have fought, um, you know, and you know, he's take, taking back, taking away from the, the, you know, the legacy he had, like right? the, the great fights he's been involved in. Do you think that, that it's been suggested in the last week since that fight that if someone retires, or even past the age of 30, if they retire, that the, the commission should agree not to allow them to relicense. But I would say 40 is probably the right age, beyond 40, mm. that, that if someone retires, that's it. If they announce a retirement, they shouldn't be allowed to come back. I feel like if you retire, wasn't it Lennox Lewis, which was uh, an example of retiring and not coming back? Mm, mm, uh, he retiring and yeah. he never came back. So, and a lot of fighters do this. Oh, I'm going to retire or I'm going to finish up a box and say goodbye. And then a lot of them come back. Um, you know, I want to be on the side where you know, like Lennox Lewis. When when you retire, that's it, done. You know, you've had your, you've had your time. You've decided to finish, you know, finish off and enjoy life. And and in the last. Four or five months, Logan Paul, Jake Paul. Uh, it's been quite interesting that, you know, Logan Paul against Floyd Mayweather. I don't know if you saw it, but it was like a weird I saw it. weirdness. Um, Jake Paul against Tyron Woodley. I don't know if you know Tyron from your days in Vegas, but it's quite interesting. I mean, I, are they bringing new eyeballs to the sport? Is it diluting the art that you practice day in, day out, that you've now done for what, maybe 18, nearly 20 years? Have you done it now, you know? Yeah, well, 20, well, 29, probably 24 years. Yeah, exactly. I mean, are they diminishing what you do, what amateur boxers achieve over time? Or and what's your take on it? Uh, mine is a, a little bit on the fence, really. Like, good on them for, you know, they've, created this big image for themselves now they're making the most of it and they, they see boxing as a way of you know getting a good income getting people interested so um you can't really knock anyone for giving it a go but on the other on the other sort of sense is that there's other fighters out there giving it their whole lives and they just haven't been given a chance to fight on a big stage and being involved in big fights and so it's just one of those things where there's got to be a balance you know there's got to be a balance a better balance mm. Well, look, I'm going to let you go and do all those weights and all those exercises behind you. But Derek's, Derek's war chisora is never, got, never short of a message for you, yeah? Um, you got a message for, for war chisora on this Saturday night? For me, Christmas is going to come early. And it's going to be so nice to beat someone twice, you know. But this time, better win. A better win. It, will you see the tweeting around him this time or not? Listen, he is one tough guy, I'll give you that, he but is. I let him off the hook. I let him off the hook. And so, um, back myself. Otherwise, what's the point? Joe, it's always great to see you. Thank you so much for your time. Can't wait to see you over in the UK or even Ireland. If it's over there, we come to visit you before the fight. Thanks, Joe. Can't wait to see you soon.